Hello all, gonna make a watercolor again. Uh, water, a bit of land, sky, distant trees. We try to make a summery sky. It is very summery here in, uh, in, in the Netherlands too. It's uh, very hot. I think it's 26 degrees. On the background you hear my uh, fan for a bit of cool uh, air. So we start. We spray the paints a bit. So they fresh, fresh up a bit and we make a bit of wetness here. I use the normal colors again. Aurelian, raw sienna, burnt sienna, burnt umber. Ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, and here's Prussian and Windsor blue. I don't use that a lot, it's it's too cold. I, I like the warm blues better. So we make a well this was already a grey. We warm it up with Elizurin, so it is a warm grey. And here we make the blue. You notice I don't rinse my brush because blue is often way too blue. It's better to make a not so blue blue, if you know what I mean. So I make here big clouds and some of them have hard edges and soft edges. I can make the soft edges on front or later, but this one I make the soft edge first. The edges you can also wet because edges don't need much attention. You must look here where the action is and not on the edge. Okay. It's blue. You notice that. Is soft, there's hard, but I do something about it later. Go a bit. Underneath the sky, or underneath the cloud, I mean, it's always a bit darker, grey. You can say it is grayer there. It's a bit of brick brush. This is also a uh, burnt sienna, a uh, burnt umber. This is burnt umber, this is burnt umber. I use it a lot. Fresh water. As long as it is wet. 
you can alter anything but if it starts to dry you must leave it alone okay to cream the paper is Milford paper it's about uh, yeah it's like the old Watman paper I never have Watman paper it's before my time and before my time is a long time ago the ultramarine blue me a bit of grey here it is still wet so we can do that When your brush is too wet at this time, of too less pigment, you get uh, from the backdrops. We know it cauliflowers. So every time I rinse my brush, it goes over the sponge. So it is more or less the same kind of moisture that's in it. This is weird. Uh, okay, I think I keep that. Distant trees, not a marine blue, with burnt sienna. I'm looking for a bit of alizarin, a blue color, a bit of purple, a bit of purpley grey you see it is also directly distant it's bluer it's further away also this is further away Take another brush, same colors. We make interesting things and we keep white edges. Also to make it interesting. We need to do that because we are painters and we like to make interesting paintings. But it is background, so don't do very much on this. But this is quick painting, uh, I think. So this is the 
water I need to do some more because it's too grey it need it need more When you see this kind of things, just do it, and otherwise uh, you are too late. The sky is simple, so the water we keep simple too. I think I keep a very long, uh, fairly amount of water I keep white This you have to practice. It's a dry brush, keep it so flat as possible and sweep. Okay, drying time. Okay, there we go again. Here I make some trees. Uh, yeah, something in the water. I don't know what it's called. I think a yeti of, or something like that. We got some more distant trees. I mixed it with some green cobalt and raw sienna. So we make the trees here. A little bit of bluer. Trees, bushes, I don't know. Small trees. Bit of shadow color underneath. Underneath. I'm still Dutch. So my English is not that great, but okay, we try. Small brush, get smaller thing, things too. Maybe some water. I think things get better with water. Well, in watercolor. So here's a jetty, or a, a yeah, I don't I really don't know what it's called. But are from those things that lay in the water, in a river. Prevent that the the bank river bank is going bad. Needs flat. Is it a bit out of the way? Because you need nah. You see, it goes wrong here too. I 
Okay, I'll leave it. You can't can't correct watercolor a lot. But I make it just very dark under the trees. In the trees. I use a lot of water here. And make reflections. From the other side is also one. The mix is uh, dark grey. It's uh, burnt umber and ultramarine blue. I make this dark because the light from the water is then more coming to you. I think I need this so this I need it darker, still darker. Light red on ultramarine. Bit of neutral tint. Really darks. It dries very quick, too quick, but okay, what can you do? Nothing you can do about it. Bit of reflections. Just let it flow. Then brush. You don't need much. And I need some distant trees here also. I think I get away with it. My earliest brush, uh, Red Sable, 30 years old, still going strong. Water Marine, Burn Channel. Don't you?
Mm. Okay. Looks like a cloud a bit, but I don't care. Branches. I'm not sure about this. Okay, not the dark. I must say it is drying like crazy. Uh, I don't like this at all.
Well, it's probably better. Drying time. Okay, it's dried a bit. I think I make it a bit of blue here. Darker. So this push it back a bit more. Uh, some branches at first. Little marine blue. My favorite blue. I use uh, Rembrandt pigments. I think about to go over to Schmink. But not every one sells Schmink. Uh, in big brushes, or in big, in big tubes. Do a water. So we keep this a little bit misty, a misty corner. I must say it is not coming easy today. I should not paint when it is this, but well, I see Australian artists also paint, so it should work for me too. Little bit of dark here. Should I? No, I don't think so. Let's make some birds. I think I need a mat. Well, it's not a masterpiece, but it's okay for Saturday afternoon. Thank you.